I'm Kate Milliken, and welcome to MS Learn Online. Although multiple sclerosis occurs most commonly in adults, it is also diagnosed in children and adolescents. Estimates suggest that 8,000 to 10,000 children in the United States have MS. Because of the critical need to better understand pediatric MS, the National MS Society established the first of its kind network of pediatric MS centers of excellence. Joining me for this discussion is Dr. Tanuja Chitnis. Dr. Chitnis is the director of the Partners Pediatric MS Center at the Massachusetts General Hospital for Children and is an assistant professor in neurology at Harvard Medical School. Welcome to MS Learn Online. Thank you. So what would you say we can learn from studying children who have pediatric MS? So for one thing, we need to better understand why MS occurs in children and how it manifests. We're learning that there are some differences in terms of uh, the clinical presentation of MS in children. Children seem to have more cognitive deficits than adults. And as well, we are finding that children have higher relapse rates than adults. However, this is important um, for children and to understand how we can better treat them, but also to possibly better understand adult MS and how uh, MS may evolve over time. There is some evidence that MS uh, may initially start in adolescence and it may be silent early on and may clinically become more clinically obvious in one's 20s or 30s. And so understanding pediatric MS and better studying the immune factor study around pediatric MS, we may better understand why MS starts in general. What is the network of pediatric MS centers and what has the network been focusing on for the past five years? So the network of pediatric MS centers of excellence is a group of six sites that were selected by the National MS Society to uh, provide excellent care to children with MS. Um, prior to 2006 when the net was, network was established, there was only one or two pediatric MS centers in the entire U.S. And this really established um, uh, care centers um, where children can see a neurologist, see experts with neuropsychological, uh, for neuropsychological testing, as well as um, social workers and nurses who are specially trained to care for children with MS. In addition, um, the network provides a basis for research in pediatric MS. And by collecting information um, about uh, the presentation of pediatric MS, about um, factors such as uh, exposures and uh, MRI um, findings, then we may better uh, be able to understand MS in general. We understand that the network is actually launching a new study that involves 10 cities. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yes, so the network has uh, recently been awarded a grant by the uh, NIH um, to study pediatric MS and specifically the risk factors for pediatric MS, which include environmental risk factors such as diet, um, vitamin D has uh, gained a lot of attention, um, and as well other factors such as place of residence, viral exposures, um, vaccination history, and, uh, and many other features that may be important in the uh, onset or um, pathogenesis of pediatric MS. And the plan is to compare a group of pediatric MS patients to healthy children from the same institutions. Um, ten sites will be involved, and this includes the six centers of excellence as well as four other uh, sites uh, in the U.S. who see um, a number of pediatric MS patients. How can someone get involved with that study? So if uh, you know a patient who has pediatric MS, then please um, refer to the National MS Society website. Uh, there is a page on pediatric MS and pediatric MS studies. So from your perspective, what hope, what type of hope do you have for families uh, that have a child with MS? So we hope that we'll be able to provide the best care possible. Um, meaning uh, the best treatments, um, understand which treatment should be used at what point um, in that child's life, and as well provide the best support for that patient and their family. And we realize that pediatric MS affects not only um, the young child or teenager, but also their siblings, their parents, and many other family members. So our aim is to uh, provide support for the entire group, as well understanding that pediatric MS uh, requires um, school, uh, support from the school, as well as uh, support later on in life. Is this something, in terms of you having been particularly in this field, you know, I feel I have MS and I feel like I have barely, when I first got diagnosed, I barely heard about kids with MS and now I feel like it's coming up more and more. Do you think that there is kind of an upward um, growth in this subject? There definitely is an upward growth in the subject and uh, I think we're getting better at recognizing that children do get MS too. 
Um, looking back at our even our own hospital records, uh, there were a number of cases who were diagnosed with ADEM or recurrent ADEM who I feel now truly had pediatric MS. So I think we're improving our uh, diagnostic abilities. MRI is certainly helping in improving diagnosis and just general awareness that MS occurs in children has helped the field greatly. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Chitness. You're welcome. If you would like to get more information on pediatric MS, go to nationalmssociety.org. This is Kate Milliken for MS Learn Online. Thanks for joining us.